we, we just made so many costly mistakes uh, throughout that first half to allow them to get the 82 points. Uh, can't get down. This is the best team in basketball right now. They're playing at a high, high level. They got amazing uh, talent on their roster. Uh, we fought. We fought. We tied the game up, took the lead. Uh, I think in the, even in the last four minutes of the game, it was tied. And then we made a couple of – we missed a little runner. We had turned it over. Uh, Indeed did an incredible block on Brad's layup. Uh, and then we just – and then we made some costly mistakes at the end. Four seconds on the clock, we gave up a three. We gave up an and one. But – uh, I thought I thought the guys competed very hard. I mean, it was a high, obviously a high scoring game. And then obviously, what can you say about Brad's performance tonight? Special player and a guy he's special every year now. Been with him for five years. Every year he's gotten better. He's an all star every year in my mind, an all NBA player. Uh, hopefully the, the rest of the league will um, understand that. But he does. He, he gets better every year. Uh, his leadership is is definitely high level. Knowing him, he's, he's pissed off. We got 60 points and we lost. Uh, we had a chance to come back and win this game. Uh, he's about winning. He can score a lot of points on any team, any given night. Uh, he, he wants to he wants to lead us to some victories. And like I said tonight, we made some mistakes, and and we're gonna have to we have to correct. We have to learn, I mean, on the fly quickly. And, and our guys, are, it's not effort-based, it's just experience. Chase. God, it, it looked like Russ went to the locker room with maybe a hand problem or something. Um, what's the latest with him? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't um, heard. He was being looked at when I met with the team and now I'm with you guys. I'll find out after. I'll tweet it out. <laughs> Well, I'll check your burner. And uh, Joel Embiid, you guys had him 0 for 6 in the first quarter and then obviously ended up with 38. Um, what what changed? We try everything on him. He's he's he's, great. he's a great player. He gets he gets he gets some of these calls that are that are tough to, to manage. Um, he's a great player and strong, very skilled. He doesn't get enough credit for how skilled he is. Uh, for his size, his athleticism, and his ability to create, and and he's quick on his feet. He's a handful. You know, he's definitely. We tried everything. We tried double teaming from the baseline, double teaming from the top. Tried meeting him early. Uh, he's a problem. Fred, he's got. Um... How do you fix the defensive issues when you guys just don't really have that much time to practice and you don't really shoot around very much? It's it's definitely a challenge, uh, but we need to get better. I don't think we didn't play well tonight defensively. It was, and then we were playing. It was a catch-up game. We were trying to just catch up and 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 score. And we did that. We did that in the second half. We played much better defense in the second half. We had, I think, 59 points. That's manageable. Uh, but 82, we're not a, we're not that bad defensively. We got it. We definitely got it. We got to get better. We gave up, you know, we gave up five points in the last 10 seconds of that second quarter with the drive and the, and the turnover three for Green in the left slot. Uh, yeah, we just got to keep competing and keep watching film. We do it individually. We do it as a, as a group. That's how every team is going to have to get better this year. There's not a lot of practice times. We've had so many games, three, and then we got another three and four nights coming up. So that's that's the only way we can do it right now. And what's what's that thought process like at the end of the third quarter when Brad just scored 25 in a quarter and, and you have to weigh what kind of lineup you're going to put out for the fourth. Obviously, his normal rotation is he's sitting, but is there any sort of consideration to changing something up when a guy's that hot? Yeah, I mean, I didn't I didn't want to, I mean, I have two choices. I can wear them out and play them. So at that point, it would have been 20, 20 um, 34, like about 30, 33 straight minutes from the second quarter on. That's 
that's not good. I mean, it, it, it would have been, you know, it's just not good. It's not, it's not, he needs a break. There's every now and then, but I felt that we had a little bit of momentum. He was only going to get a two, a two minute break. And then we started, then we went on a nice little run. And then we bought, we bought him actually about two extra minutes. And then he came in and then he came in. I think we were, I think we were up three when he, when he came in or tied. I think we hit, BB hit the three and then Green hit the three to tie it up. It was like seven, seven forty to go. Um, but yeah, I mean, I trust me. I'm probably everybody out there is saying the same thing. Play him the entire game, but everybody needs a little bit of a blow. He's only going to get a couple of minute break. Neil. Hey, Scott, uh, another game where Denny didn't play in the fourth quarter. Um, Ethoc didn't play again. When you guys are struggling on defense, why is it that some of your stronger defensive players aren't getting the playing time? Yeah, I mean, everybody has to be ready. You know, it's, uh, it's, uh, Denny, Denny's a good player. He hasn't played well you know, tonight. Rui didn't play well tonight either. Uh, I'm not going to go away from them, but they're not going to get the, their normal minutes either. We got Danny and DB at those minutes. Those are pretty good. Those are pretty good guys at the three, and then they both can play a little bit of four. Uh, everybody has to be ready. First, praise my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, it's very emotional. It's very disheartening in a lot of ways because you know just this, the lack of sense of urgency there was to respond. To what was going on versus you know protesters of black lives matter you know over the summer you know and that was a direct like standout from every from from all over the world like everybody addressed the same issue you know and i retweeted something that trump tweeted um a few months ago uh literally about the guys and people who will vandalize and basically disrespect any federal piece of property in Portland and around the, the U.S. And those people will face a minimum of 10 years in prison. So we'll see, you know, if he has his foot in his mouth or if that's something that he really truly stands on, you know, because of the people who were invading our capital, they invaded the capital. That's unheard of, right? <laughs> that's unheard of, but, you know, it's just disheartening that that's, this is where we are as a country. Uh, but, you know, my biggest thing is bringing more attention to Jacob Blake and his decision in that case and how they decided to not bring any criminal charges against those officers when he was shot seven times. You know, that's another issue we're still dealing with. So it is just ongoing, you know, but, you know, we continue to fight the good fight. You know, we continue to get, get in front of these lawmakers and these politicians and do, you know, continue to lay the hammer down to changes made. You know, we, but the biggest thing is the P word is patience. You know, we, the rules and the changes aren't going to be had overnight. Uh, so we just got to understand what that looks like and what that means. And, you know, patience is going to be required from there. And Brad, there's, there's not a great transition from that topic over to basketball, but um, you, you had a career high tonight. What, what's it like to go for a career high and tie a franchise record during a game that ends up like that? Uh, you know me, Fred. You know I'm pissed off. I'm mad. It's just, it's just, you know, I don't count any of my, you know, career highs that have been losses. So, you know, I don't give a damn. You throw it right out the window with the other two or three I had. I just want to win. You know, sometimes it forces me to score 50, 60, whatever the case may be. But I just want to win and whatever that looks like. So, came up a little short tonight. But... We just got to keep at it. Nobody's going to feel sorry for us. Chase. Brad, obviously this one went down to the final minutes. What made the difference for them? Uh, I think they got stops and made, made more plays than we did down the stretch. Uh, I think and beat it a tough three. I mean, they were making a lot of shots. They made a lot of shots, and I don't even know what they shot from the field. It was ridiculous, ridiculous honestly. Yeah, uh, I mean, they shot 60% from the field. You can't, I mean, 62 from three. You're not gonna win a game like that. It's not. What, what's the challenge like defending Philly this year when they've got shooters and you double him 
Embiid and he can pass it out to Curry and, and Green and, and with the way they hurt you guys today? It's tough, man. We we understand what Joel is capable of doing down there. We understand that every time down the floor, they're looking to you know run their offense through him. Uh, and, you know, when he draws so much attention that, you know, they did a good job in the offseason of adding some pieces around him that can knock down shots. Uh, you know, Tobias has been playing well as anybody the last week. You know, Danny Green is a spot-up shooter. Seth Curry, he can put the ball on the floor as he showed tonight and, you know, be able to create for himself. Uh, you know, he had damn near 30. So, it's – I mean, they, they, got, they, they got a good team. We can't, we can't sit here and, you know – be naive to that. They have a really good ball club, uh, but I think we we put ourselves in a position to win them. You know, twice now that we played them to win. So I always put it on myself to close it out. I gotta be better. Ava. Hey Brad, um, could you put this game in a little bit of perspective? In that you guys showed so much fight in the fourth quarter where you had had trouble late early on, but it was still the defensive issue. Just where does that? leave the team, I guess, in, in your view? I think we're okay. You know, it's, it's, it's those same mistakes that we have to eliminate. You know, we we, we we showed our hand, so to speak. We play cards, we already showed our hand, you know, showing that we were able to defend, we're able to, you know, do these things the correct way on a consistent basis. You know, we built off two really good wins, uh, Minnesota and Brooklyn. You know, we had to come out tonight with that same type of intensity. We didn't have it. We didn't have that same focus. So. That's been our laps. That's been our Achilles heel. We have to come in ready to go, knowing personnel uh, and knowing what to do and, and just being ready. You know, this is it's hard to win in this league. It is super hard. It is super hard. You know, and you have teams who are hungry, teams who haven't played since March, teams haven't played since the bubble. You know, everybody's hungry. So we just got to be better. And, uh, you know, we got another tough one, tough one in two days. So, you know, the schedule doesn't get easier and our task doesn't get easier. So. And you were trying to miss the second free throw at the end there, right? Unfortunately, no, I wouldn't. But I ended up missing it. I missed two free throws in my head. I think Joel kind of talked me out of that one. <laughs> Thanks, Brad. Yeah. Neil. Hey, Brad. Um, from what you're describing, would you say the second quarter defense when, you know, Philly shoots 80% from the field? Is that just a matter of, you know, they made their shots and, you know, no. can't really beat them? Or what's allowing them to get those good looks? Man, it don't make no damn sense for us to give up 50 points in the quarter on one through 15. Like, we gave up 50 points in the quarter. That's unheard of. You can't win a game like that. Like, and Russ came in expressing that at halftime. We cannot win games giving up 50 points in a quarter, you know, no matter who's on the floor, me included, like we have to bear down and let's just coming down to defense and guard, you know, and understanding personnel, understanding what guys are capable of doing, you know, and that's, I mean, you can, yeah, I mean, that's where we pretty much lost the game. 49, I mean, granted, we, we scored 43, but we give up 49, like, that's <laughs> First thing to play defense is going to win, pretty much. Yeah, you know, man, it's uh, – I haven't had much time to kind of take it all in, but it's very unfortunate, man, to, to see um, if those roles are reversed, if those are um, African-Americans and black people, it would be totally different. Um, unfortunately, there's so much going on, man. There's so many people losing their lives, whether it's through COVID and losing their family members. And sometimes we can't control civilians and what they do. Uh, just control what we do uh, to make change in our society. Uh, and that's the biggest thing that we can do now. Um, unfortunately, we can't control what people do, how they do, how they move, um, but we can control our own actions and figure out how to make the world a better place. Uh, it's just crazy. Um, almost like a, a movie when I see it talking to people and obviously now being in DC and my family there, um, it's, 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 it definitely hits a little different for me now. Ava. Hey Russ, I'm just wondering how you look at that, um, that 
late game comeback that you guys made. Obviously, you're someone who values that fight in team so much, but it came after the three quarters of kind of um, sloppy defense. So how do you kind of break that down in your mind? Uh, we know we can do it. We know we have to do the win game. We cannot afford to BS on the defensive end. We know when we lock in defensively, uh, it's going to be tough to beat us. And, you know, Philly it has the best record in the league now. Um, but we we know that we can play with the best uh, when we defend at a, at a high level. Everybody out there live? Chase. Russ, uh, how was your hand? It seemed like you uh, left the game late in the fourth quarter. Yeah, I dislocated my finger. Uh, but we'll see. You know, shit hurt. But yeah. I... Yeah, that sounds like it would hurt. Um, do you think you uh, may miss some time? Uh, I don't know. I don't have an answer. The game just finished 30 minutes ago. I have no idea. 